channel if you're new here welcome so today I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this cute little gingerbread makeup look for this look I was actually inspired by Manny MUA from his look last year that he recently reposted this year but he was inspired by Evelyn's makeup so definitely check both of them out I love both of their versions I feel like they're nice and creative a little bit of a different color scheme so since I got this cute little fluffy pink sweater I thought that it'd be nice to maybe throw in a few more pink tones into this look and kind of just make it a little bit more festive and you can obviously change the colors depending on any outfit that you're wearing but I just wanted to stray a little bit more from the orange and kind of focus a little bit more on mauves pinks and browns so anyways with all that being said if you guys are interested in seeing how I can achieve this gingerbread makeup look then just keep watching So to start off, I'm going to be priming my face with my Boca Bunny Beauty French Benefit Primer and applying this all over my face before going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in the shade 220N and applying this with my IT Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush. Next, I'm going to be taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Cream to Powder Foundation in Mocha and applying this to the areas that I would like to contour. So this is my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose, and my jawline. And then just making sure to go ahead and blend this out, making sure that I'm moving the product downwards and not bringing it up into the highlight areas. I'm then going to be taking my Makeup Revolution Concealer in the color C2.5 and I'm going to be applying this to the areas that I would like to highlight and I'm going to go ahead and leave that on my face while I go and do my eyebrows before coming back to blend that out. This is going to help make the color a little bit more opaque and last longer. I'm then going to be setting this with my Airspun Translucent Powder before we move on to eyes where I'm going to start off by priming them with my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer. Moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking my Disney Designer Midnight Masquerade Palette from ColourPop, taking Spinning Wheel and applying this to the brow bone to highlight it before going into Pip to serve as our transition shade. So I'm going to be applying this all over my crease, blending it down to the outer corner and my lower lash line as well. I'm then going to be taking Nutmeg and doing the exact same thing by applying this into the outer corner of the crease and then just blending in towards the inner portion and then making sure to blend that out with a clean blending brush. Following that, I'm going to be going into Gaston from the palette and doing the exact same thing. We're really just going to be building up and deepening this color. And we even want to bring this down to the outer corner of our lower lash line too, before going into Quasimodo with a pencil brush and really just deepening up that outer corner and lower lash line. Following that, I'm going to be taking Jolly, which is this gorgeous rose gold shade, and I'm going to be applying that onto my lid, blending it into the center and the inner portion of my lower lash line as well, before taking Floating Lantern, which is probably my favorite shade from this entire palette. It is this pressed glitter, and it is absolutely stunning. I'm then going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Black Liner and just creating a nice bold wing on my upper lash line before going into my Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Dimensional Dark Brown and applying this to my lower waterline. I'm then going to be going into my KVD Beauty Shade and Light Palette, taking these two contour colors and applying this right on top of the areas that I contoured earlier. Not only is this going to help set that contour, but it's also going to help deepen it up a little bit more as well. Next, I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Palette, taking Allure and Vivid and using this to highlight my cheekbones and my nose. Next, I'm going to be bronzing my face with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, so I'm going to be applying this to the areas that I want to add a nice, healthy, sun-like glow before going into my Butter Blush in Plum Rose and applying this right on top of that to help add a little bit more color. And I'm even going to be applying that to the apples of my cheeks as well to kind of prep for the blush. I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Disney Designer Midnight Masquerade blushes in Enchanted Mirror and Kissing a Frog. Now, as you can see, we obviously really want to build up these colors because this is going to serve as the base to really help make our little graphics on our cheeks pop. So I'm even going to be going over this a little bit more with that butter bronzer because this is really going to help bring in some of those warm bronze tones to this look. I'm then going to be prepping my eyelashes by curling them before going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and just going ahead and sweeping that through my top and bottom eyelashes. Once they are tacky, I'm going to be popping on my favorite e, e lashes in Cherry and just applying that to my upper lash line before we move on to the face paint. I'm going to be doing a little mix here. I'm going to be mixing my Graftobian Pro Paint in Fuzzy Bear Brown with a little bit of my Moon Creations Body Paint in White. This is going to create this nice kind of lighter brown color that isn't going to be too intense and really does represent the color of a typical gingerbread man. And I'm just going to go ahead and start to outline their bodies before I go in and mix the brown with the white and then also adding a little bit of my Graftobian Pro Paint in Tickled Pink, and this is going to create a nice like little mauve pink color that I'm going to be using to create the hearts around the gingerbread. And 
And then once that is done, I'm just going to be going into just my Moon Creations body paint in white and just outline all of these little sketches that I have on my face. This is even really going to just make all of this pop and really come together. Feel free to add some buttons and clothes and smiley faces onto your gingerbread and you can really get creative with this and just kind of create any kind of gingerbread shape that you'd like. It's a lot of fun and it definitely kind of helps add this icing border to them to really make them stand out from your face a little bit more. Once you've done that, I'm actually going to be taking a small detail brush and creating little bits of almost like white snowflake freckles all around my cheek and nose area before going in to under my brow bone. And I'm just going to be creating a few dots kind of to create a border right under there as well. For my lips, I'm going to be taking my CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lip Liner in the color 225 Beloved, and I'm just going to go ahead and outline my lips with that before I go into my Tarte Tardiest Lip Paint in the color FOMO and just going ahead and filling in my lips. I'm then going to be taking my NYX Slip Tease Lip Lacquer in Motel Dreams and just applying this to the perimeter of my lips before blotting them together to blend it. And then I'm going to be topping all of this off with my Disney Designer ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip Gloss in the color Boo. And that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. And of course, with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.